Hi, I'm Dorian, M6 FSI, uh, and this evening I hope to be uh, picking up the communication to the school from the International Space Station. Uh, so uh, I'll just show you around some of the qu equipment I've got. Uh, it's about half an hour to go. Okay, so this is my Yaesu FT8900 radio, which I'll be using for uh, receiving signals from the International Space Station. This is the antenna I'll be using. It's a directional antenna, a Yagi, which uh, I've made myself. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit dark. You can't really see it, um, but uh, I'll see if I can take some photographs and put those up a bit later. I've also got on the laptop uh, this uh, tracking software called Orbitron, and uh, so I can see exactly uh, when the satellite's coming. Okay, so uh, a couple of minutes to go. This is the path uh, the ISS will take um, relative to me, uh, starting uh, over here in the west. It's just appearing, so that's just on the horizon there, and it'll almost be coming directly overhead and then off to the off to the east. Uh, I've got stats down the bottom here, uh, so the top number here, the bearing to the International Space Station and its current elevation above the horizon. Uh, so that's getting quite uh, close. Once it gets to about 10 degrees, I should be able to start receiving. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the squelch on the radio. Over. 
I Kitty World for future astronauts, I think you really just have to focus on doing the things that you love doing and being as good as you can at them. That's the best advice for any astronaut really, is just be as good as you can at what you're doing. Over. That's a great question, Yasmin. In zero gravity, we don't have to work against gravity, so you could use a lot less force if you like. And then there does an impact temperature onto the metal, so you get a much purer burn and uh, you can cool it to lower temperatures. Over. Hi Miranda, well we've got some very clever systems up here using electrolysis of water. We can get water into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas and uh, rather than just getting rid of the hydrogen gas, we then mix that with the carbon dioxide that we're breathing out and that actually makes water and produces methane. So the only thing we get rid of is